hot rod racing. This weekend sees the European Championships at Hennesford Raceway near Cannock, when the top British and continental drivers will be competing. Now, some people still think that hot rod racing is just a brutal technique where you bash the opposition out of your way. But in fact, there's a lot of skill and technique involved, so I'm told. Well, Alan Towers has been to Hennesford for this film preview. The giants of hot rod racing are Midland men. Trevor Shaw from Daventry is in the garage business. John Edwards, another garage owner, comes from Wolverhampton. And of course, there's Gordon Bland, the world champion and an insurance broker who lives in Coventry. The machines they all drive are Ford Escorts. That's become the norm for hot rods. And with the 183 brake horsepower engines costing £3,000, it's an expensive business. On Sunday, these lads will average 60 on the quarter mile circuit and will reach 80 down the straight. And John Bland can expect fierce competition from the drivers he beat only six days ago in the World Championships at Ipswich. Well, there's going to be a lot of competition this week. We've got all the, well, quite a lot of the continental drivers over here, all the top ones in particular. And as well as that, from our point of view, here in the Midlands, we've got the, the top London drivers as well. We shall have uh, Barry Lee, uh, Mick Collard, all the top drivers will be here on Sunday at Hensford. And all looking for your scalp. Yes, I think after last weekend, uh, they'll all be after me. I'll be the man that they want to stop. As you can see now, we're making our way through the traffic. It's a purely different technique to normal racing. You have to get in very close. Of course, occasionally, you do do a bit of bumping and boring. Just. We've got, uh, well, we've wound, nearly wound Trevor Shaw out there, but he got in the way a little bit. You're not actually supposed to do that. Not, he's having a go at us now, but uh, we managed to get through all right. And uh, we've got through that bunch. Trevor Shaw will be among the main contenders on Sunday, but because he is one of the best, he'll start the race at the back of the bunch. When you're a novice, you start at the front and uh, opposite to circuit race and the better you get the further you go back which is really fair in the sense of you know if you had the fastest man at the front starting in every race i mean you know it's just pointless really just walk away with it or well, no. this should do anyway what about technique because i know for a fact when i went round for my spin you're stuck in third gear there's no gear changing you're just clouting the pedal and steering hard into bends is it as simple as that well no it's obviously there's a lot more to it it's a uh, lot of steering control i mean traffic's got a lot to do with it you know um, plus the slower chaps on the track also can help you quite a bit. I mean, you can box faster men in behind a, a slower paced car and uh, use them to your advantage. Now, what about the, um, the, the business of technique on the track, uh, Gordon? Do you, do you actually uh, ever become slightly illegal, in inverted commas? Well, on a quarter mile circuit with 30 cars, contact is all, it's almost impossible to avoid contact. Occasionally, you, um, you come up behind someone and you know that they don't know you're there. You just give him a tap on the back end just to let him know you're there. Uh, it's illegal. Contact is illegal, but uh, if you give someone a tap just to let him know you're there, they don't worry too much about that. It's when you move over. Yeah, that's it. That's exactly what it is. It's when you start pushing them into the fence or spinning them off that uh, they wave the black flag at you. Why do you do it? We just, we just enjoy it. It just gets in your blood, and it, it, you can't explain it really. It just gets into your blood, and that's it. <laughs> 